Kenny Albert walked by Frazier. Congratulations on the victory. You hit some key free throws down the stretch. Uh, what did you think were uh, the biggest keys to this comeback tonight in the fourth quarter? Um, I mean, getting it together. Uh, we had a very slow start to this game. Uh, kind of a slow start to the third quarter. And, um, I mean, we just, had to, we just had to find energy. I mean, we didn't come out the, uh, the way we wanted to tonight. And, uh, I mean, but we kept, kept fighting and uh, find a way to just get a win, man. This team, uh, they're young, they're talented, they play fast, they're well coached. And, I mean, it's, it's, it was a tough one, but we got it done. Yeah, you mentioned a slow start. What did you guys discuss at halftime? You came out with a little more fire and desire. Yeah, we got a couple choice words. So, but uh, we got um, <laughs> he lit a fire under us, man. We just, we just got to continue to play hard and you know, all the time. You know, when we have uh, wins against uh, teams, teams that have higher seeds, you know, we can't just take these teams lightly. I mean, they're well coached. They, they're NBA players too. You know, we can't take them lightly at all. And um, we just got to keep fighting. A big victory, Jalen, for you and the Knicks tonight. But looking ahead. A huge day tomorrow as your number will be retired after Alma Mater, Villanova. Uh, now that you have this game behind you, how exciting uh, do you expect tomorrow to be? Um, I'm, I'm very excited. You know, it's a very humbling um, experience, honoring experience. Uh, I'm at a loss for words because you know, I didn't go to Villanova you know, hoping my number would be retired. I went there you know, just to help a team win, you know, be a part of something special. And, uh, and I got something far greater than that. I got a family for life. And uh, the fact that they're honoring me in this way, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's amazing. So I'm so thankful for them. And uh, it's just, it's, it's amazing. It's, it's a, I'm at a loss of words. Yeah, congratulations, Jack. I, I've had that honor. And <laughs> you, got you, it, you got it in a couple places, man. <laughs> <laughs> right, so what do you think is going to be the first thing you think about when you're, when you're standing there? Um, trying not to be emotional. Uh, I, <laughs> I, I just, Villanova has my heart. And, um, I always you know, talk a big game and uh, be you know, try not to be as uh, emotional when I'm playing or doing anything. But and in those moments, uh, they're very touching, and uh, I just do my best to hold it all in. Sluggish, grind out games. Just talk about the challenge of, of competing in one of these. Uh, yeah, you're right. Uh, sluggish. We didn't get off to a great start. Uh, we competed, fought back, and just it's one of those games where it's kind of slow. And you had the half court, uh, half half court execution the way they were playing. Jalen said in the uh, post-game uh, interview with Kenny and Clyde that coach had some choice words at halftime. What were some of the adjustments, and what did he have to say at halftime? Uh, we just weren't. We didn't have any game plan discipline, so um, that was just really what it was. We didn't execute what we were supposed to do offensively or defensively, and uh, he got us going, and we came out and did a better job in the second half. How big was the rebounding down the stretch and knocking down free throws? Uh, huge, huge. Um, you know, um, basically that's what the game came down to in the end. Uh, we made our free throws, uh, you know, got rebounds, and then turned the ball over. What do you think about the New York crowd here in Orlando? Yeah, they always show up big here, so you know, it's fun uh, playing here. It almost feels like a home game. Grinded out games. Can you just talk of the fortitude that the team showed tonight? Yeah, I thought a lot of resolve. Uh, you know, going into the game, we had talked to to the, to our team about how well Orlando's been playing, so we knew it would be a fight. Nur Young, they're very, very athletic. They're quick to the ball. Uh, they can crack you off the dribble. And, you know, we, we started off in a hole, and we fought out of the hole. I thought the second half we were a lot better. I thought the fourth quarter we, we were very good. What were the big adjustments that were made at halftime? Just I think we got used to, like, the, the speed of the game and how they were, you know, we weren't in the gaps, and we were giving them holes to penetrate. And then our weak side wasn't aware, so we had to move quicker. Uh, and once we, we tightened that up, it, it was better for us. Coach, it sound like uh, the New York fans were here tonight. Yeah, so it's, all, it's all, always great to have the New York fans here. So we certainly appreciate their support. Um, we thought that helped bring energy to the game for us. The rebounds you guys came up with late, Sims on the offensive glass, and then Julius, the last one on the yeah. missed free throw. Yeah, yeah, and, and in traffic, you know, and I thought uh, Julius and, and uh, uh, Jalen set the tone in the fourth quarter and just the way we closed. And big rebounds, physicality, hustle plays. Um, then we had a number of guys you know, make timely plays. I thought that the offensive rebounding by Jericho was huge for us. Uh, and then you know, they were aggressive with Jalen, blitzing him. And once we got off the ball and we, and, and we got to the second pass, good things came from that. 
Coach RJ struggled in the first half, but he hit some big threes. You talk just a little bit about how sometimes it may not be going for him, but he, he's yeah. always just fighting through it. Yeah, just work, work the game. Work the game. It's a long game, so if things aren't going your way early, oftentimes it's a hustle play. It's something that can get you going, and it turns, and it did. And so help us with your defense, run the floor, move without the ball, and you'll find rhythm in the game. And I think we made a number of good plays, I thought, in early in the game where we missed shots, too. And we probably passed up some open shots. I, I want to take a look at the film, but I thought we had some good situations in which there was movement, penetration, uh, a kick out, and then we should have shot that, and we put it down again and, and drove into traffic. So if we're open, we got to shoot. we got to shoot. This team's making a, a knack out of close games coming down to the wire. Just how they're learning from each game and, you know, advancing on that. Yeah, I think that it's important. I, I think you, you, you look at the league, I think it's league-wide. Uh, and each day, learn, grow, get better. And if the process is good, you'll continue to improve. And I think we have a lot of young guys that are, are learning. This is the first time in these situations. So... You want to learn and grow. And just, and again, and the best thing about the league is you get challenged each and every day. So each day is new. You start at zero, and then you got to earn everything you get. So we know tomorrow's a, a travel day. Then we're going into Philly. We just played them. We know how good they are. And we're going to have to be ready. We're going to have to put the work into that game. Winning tonight will have nothing to do with that game uh, in, in our next game. And then, Coach, you've, uh, the team was fouling down the stretch. Is that a matter of just knock down your free throws, this game's over? Yeah, you know, you, you're gonna, you know teams are going to play the foul game, and it, so you got to be step up and make. And, uh, you know, that's part of it. You know, all these, these guys work on free throws every day, you know, and we know we're more than capable. Get up there, shoot them well. Coach, I know. talk a little bit about the rookie for Orlando Magic, what you're seeing in him. Uh, you know, I think just uh, the way he works the game, he, he's got the strength already to deal with the league. I think he has a good feel. He's crafty, he's shifty with the ball, too. You, it's hard to get, like, a, a good read on him. And if he has any seams, he, he gets in there. I think uh, as time goes on, he'll, you, you, like with most guys coming in, getting used to the three-point line is a little bit of adjustment because it's different than college. You know, but uh, no, I love his game. I loved him at Duke and the, just the way he plays. He's got a great demeanor. I think uh, Wagner is a terrific talent as well. They complement each other extremely well. And it's, you know, we're talking about Fultz and the way he's, you know, grown and the way he's playing. Uh, this team is playing really, really well. I know you always say that these are questions for Leon, but the, you guys it have, is a question you for guys, Leon. You guys, so. you guys are heading into the trade deadline on on Thursday. How comfortable are you with this roster? The way oh, it's I love our right team. Now? I love our team, and that's look the Leon's job. And you see, it, it's league wide right now. Things heat up, and that's his job is to listen to people, to talk, to see what's going on in the league. And he's, he and his staff are always thinking about you know, the possibilities and can we improve the team? That's his job. He's responsible for that. Uh, but we love our team. It has to, you know, like if something were to happen, it, it would have to be something he felt very strongly about that would improve the club. So, but we also like, we know we have a really good roster that we like. We have a lot of good young players that we know are going to get better as time goes on. So listen, and, you know, for, uh, I've been around a long time. For every 100 trades, they talk about one gets done. So just keep focused on don't, don't get distracted. It's just noise. And the, the good thing is that I think the popularity of our league, it, it creates a buzz. Everyone's looking at it. But it, it, you can't lose sight of what, what's important to us, which is getting ready for the next game.